Hello, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Evie Ryland, and I'm going to make for you today my molded chicken jello salad, which is absolutely fantastic, I think, but apparently my father and I are the only ones that think so. Um, so, usually my friends are the ones who cook in here. Um, I'll buy everything they need if they will just please cook it for me. Um, I will make this dish, nobody will eat it, like I said, except my father and I, so hopefully, maybe you guys can try it at home. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going, well first let me get a glass of water. And um, I have to prepare, because I get nervous actually cooking. I don't know why it makes me nervous to think about it, but I can do this. Alright, so the first thing I do is I take my... Lipton noodle soup mix, which you can buy in the boxes or in the box section. Really easy to find. And lemon jello, another easy to find product in any grocery store. But the first thing you do is you cook the noodle soup. So I have to boil this. So what I'm going to do is I already got my pan out. The magic of television is automatically already there. Um, got my pan out, but I have to get the uh, measuring cup. Cup and add two cups of water for this. <laughs> and let's see. Okay. Of course, I could bring the pan over, but why don't we do that? Well, that won't matter now, so I'll just. <laughs> Alright, two cups of water going to bring to a boil. Alright. Now, let me see. Now I need to find the, uh, ah. see, I never really even use this stuff, so let's see if it even works. Of course it doesn't work. Ah! Alright, let's see. This one. Alright. Ah! <laughs> like I said, I'm not normally the one that does this. My back one is still clicking, I don't know why. Alright, we'll just cook on that one. How about that? <laughs> I know you guys are loving this. Okay. So, we're going to let that simmer. We're going to let it boil, turn into a boil, whatever. And then we're going to pour our Lipton noodle soup in there. So, okay, so. Um, while that's about to boil, um, I'll tell you maybe a little bit about what I do on average or what I eat normally during the day, I guess. So, um, let's see, normally I wake up and I will have breakfast, which is usually oatmeal or um, cereal I'll have with rice milk or almond milk or something. Um, uh, if somebody, you know, if I, if I eat like a cooked breakfast, it's going to be because somebody's making it for me in a restaurant or whatever out. Um, then I go to work. What else? Um, work on something like, like maybe my book, perhaps. This is my cartoons. I do uh, cartoons. So this is a collection of my work here. Um, and uh, I'll work on those or my new ones or whatever. And it's almost boiling. Let's get excited. And uh, let's see. What else? Then I come home. I'll eat lunch out always, have dinner with friends out always. I don't really cook unless they're going to come here and cook for me, which is not that often unless it's like a holiday. I usually do that during holidays and stuff. But, so that's boiling. So um, we're going to put this in here. Let's see. I'm going to bring water to a boil. Stir in the contents of the soup. Simmer for five minutes until we eat. Okay, so, all right. so we're going to pour this in here. And I actually only put two cups of um, water in there, even though this calls for four, because I use the other two cups for, um, uh, I, should push uh, I use the other two cups for cold for the jello. So, basically. And it smells like chicken soup automatically. It's amazing. It's like instant chicken noodle soup. But there's no chicken in it, I don't think. Chicken flavor with other natural flavors. It's flavorful. 
So, okay, so we're going to let that do that for a minute. Hold on, let's see. Mm. I'll turn it down. See, I totally look like a pro, right? I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Um, but I, I honestly, I don't know how to cook though. You know, I really wish I did, but it's, it's intimidating to me to be in a kitchen. You know, I love good food. I love, um, to eat, but you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. It's intimidating. I feel like I just freeze up when I get it. It's, I'm kind of frozen up just even making this for you guys. So I don't know. I think that this is cooked long enough. Um, I'm not sure because what I normally do is I use my phone which is, this is my lifeline right here, and I, uh, I use the timer normally, even if it's like for a couple minutes, whatever, I have to know. So I usually time it, but I didn't this time, because I was talking, but um, uh, I think it's done. So we're just going to say that it is. So it's boiled, right? So what I do now, what do I do now? Oh, that's right. <laughs> so then I grab my beautiful bowl, set that here. That's, that's funny. Come here. Come here, baby. Okay, sorry about that. That was um, uh, a fuzzy monster truck for my dog, who is absolutely adorable. My little baby. My baby. He's, um, he barks. So, anyway, okay. So, I have the bowl. Ah, the jello. So, okay, so you take your jello. You guys are totally gonna like this, I'm telling you. It sounds weird. It's delicious. My dad used to make this for me. It's like pure comfort food. And not just not just for me. For everybody. See that? It's beautiful. Lemon jello. It has to be lemon jello. And then um, you take your fantastic. <laughs> he barks. What do you want? chicken noodle soup, the fantastic chicken noodle soup, hot into the, um, the jello, just like that. And, uh, la, la, la. and uh, you gotta stir that, I think. And, um, two cups of cold water, but I think that comes after I stir this. I think I need to stir this first. So you want to get, yeah, you want to stir it because you want to get the jello all dissolved. That's what you want to do. So, once the jello gets all dissolved, then you're going to add in your two cups of cold water. And kids, you can make this at home too. <laughs> actually, no, this is actually, that's how I, I think I learned to make it. I was a kid. My dad would, you know, and I would make it together. So, it is fantastic. Um... My uh, my mom actually is a cook too. She cook she's she's a really good cook. Southern chef, not chef, but I call her a chef. She's just good home cook. You know, she makes everything, all the yummy comfort food. And I was just never in the kitchen, so I never watched her cook. Anyway, I think that's dissolved. See, and it gets kind of thick, like the consistency, and a little more yellow. That's the lemon jello part of it. <laughs> it just yummy, yummy. And now we take two cups of cold water. One. Pour that in there like that. Two. I'm totally a pro at making this dish. Ask me to make anything else, I don't know. But this I can make, right? See? And the smell, I can't even tell you the aroma of deliciousness that this is making right now. It is so good, you have no idea. Okay. And then, it goes into the refrigerator for four hours, at least. So, let me make sure there's room in the refrigerator. <laughs> Not that I have like a ton of stuff in here, which I don't. I have grapes. I have rice milk, parmesan, coconut water, olives, cookies. Some stuff that other people put in there that they're probably going to cook with some point. I don't know. <laughs> so, 
in goes the Jello mold. This is molded, or I'm sorry, molded chicken Jello salad. Molded chicken Jello salad is fantastic. And it goes in here just like that. And my favorite part of cooking, you wait until it's done. And that's it. And if I had time through the magic of television, I would show you for hours from now, but I actually am going to go eat some real food with my friends. So <laughs> I'll send you a picture. All right. So the one thing I did forget, just one more thing. Uh, you have to have a beautiful plate to put it on, like a little cake plate. So when you're done, you're going to flip that over the um, pan thing, jello mold. You're going to flip that over like that. And it's going to look absolutely gorgeous on your plate. The end. <laughs>